Hey guys, Frank here. Um, just wanted to follow up on the questions that I had asked during the holiday season. I had two specific questions that I wanted to get answers to. One is, why do DIYers build all of their battery packs in large, in large chunks? You know, 80 to 100 cells. And question number two was, if I were to build my battery packs from my power wall, should I build them in large chunks like that just as one cell so you'd have 80 cells in a pack and that's 3.7 volts or should I build it out where I have it like this where it's parallel and serial this is a 48 volt pack instead of a 3.7 volt pack like this so I have the answer the first question is why do most DIYers build large cell packs like this this is a 3.7 volt uh, I don't know how many amp hours are actually in this one but there are quite a few into cell packs like that? Well, I did get an answer back from Battery DIY on YouTube. If you have eight cells, like I have here, eight cells, these eight cells would be one, one battery piece or one cell configuration, and one fails, one of these cells fails, 12% of the module is failed. And you start to think about that, and that could be pretty important especially if I have one that fails here and then I have another one that fails down here and another one down here because aren't we using harvested cells? We're going out and finding cells in battery packs and in tool uh, tools, uh, you know, shop tools and that. We are finding old cells and in that process, sure, we test them and we try to do the best we can to vet them, but you know what? They're still gonna fail. Eventually they will. Um, even brand new cells will fail. I get new cells and I've seen them fail, so cells will fail. We just have a better chance of keeping our things together if we can figure them correctly. And that's why I asked the questions. All right, so this or this, this makes sense to me. So I've decided that when I build my power wall, I'm not gonna use cell packs like this. As convenient as this would be um, for many different reasons, one, with having the cells all grouped together like this in series and in parallel, I wouldn't need to use very large cables because my amperage is up, I'm, or my voltage is up. I'm running higher voltage. And so I can actually use a thinner gauge wire. So that would cost me a little bit, but I'm just talking about having it in a controlled area. So it doesn't make that much of a difference in a controlled environment like that. I still will probably end up having to spend more money on wire and connectors, but the risk of cell failure is just a little bit too high to be playing with. And I think I'd rather spend a little bit more money on wire and, and that to make sure that I don't lose all this work, all this work that we're doing. Okay, so based on that, I'm gonna go with back to this style of battery pack. Now, I'm not sure what size I'm gonna do at this point. I still haven't vetted that out yet. The other portion of this is BMS. And I didn't ask the question, and I'm not gonna ask it now, but I do, I'm bouncing around my head, BMS, why should I, you know, there's been those who've gone before that say, no, you really don't need it. Um, but I think we've seen with like DIY Powerwall where it's, you're better off having some, some BMS, and so, I'll address that as I get a little bit farther down the road and I'll talk more about BMS, how to set it up, what it is. Um, but tell, for now, we're just gonna, we're, we're focusing on the battery packs and depending on how we build battery packs, because if I were to do this style would be a one type of BMS and this requires a different type of BMS. Basically, they still manage the batteries, but it's just a little different system. So. We'll talk about that later because I do have more questions. I'm not done with my questions there. On to question number two. Question number two was, 
should I build my batteries as a single volt? This is a 48 volt battery. This is a 3.7 volt battery. This would be my full voltage size. This would be what I was actually shooting for, um, for my power wall. But I'm gonna have to do 14 of these instead. So the question, going back to question number two, should I build my packs like this? The answer is actually yes and no. Yes, when it comes to power walls. Power walls, you're gonna have a lot of cells to deal with, you're gonna have a lot of voltage, you're gonna have um, a lot of amperage, which means a lot of watt hours and so on and so forth. Yes, you're gonna wanna build out packs like this. You're gonna make them low voltage, but you're gonna have a lot of them, and that will give you your volume so that you get your watt hours out of your, out of your power wall. But when it comes to smaller kits, like the one I showed you that I use my red blanket in and I can do cell phone charging and fits in my backpack and I can carry with me, I don't have much choice but to make my cell packs the actual voltage I'm striving for. So where do I draw the line? I think what it comes down to is if it comes to a power wall, I'm doing big. I'm doing big bricks of low voltage, 3.7 volt, batteries and trying to get my amps up inside these cells but when it comes to the portable stuff uh, you have to build them out at the voltage you need them at and you may not get as many uh, amps out of them but that really comes down to space quite frankly i mean it's just a matter of how much can you pack into a little tiny kit and so based on that the answer is yes and no question number two well guys I hope this I'm hoping that this was helpful to you I hope that uh, you've been able to get something from this and it wasn't just a bunch of uh, cycle babble but uh, it has been helpful for me to really think this through to make sure I'm doing this correctly because I really I don't want to go back and I want to have a reason for doing each of the things that uh, that I've done or I'm trying to do and it still may not be right but I'm gonna give it a good go and hopefully it, it was helpful to you. If you do have more questions or comments, please leave them in the comments below and subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to my channel and, and tell your friends about me so that uh, you can help me out. I'm trying to uh, just share what I'm doing. If you guys have an interest, I think uh, I'm hoping that this is helpful to you. So till then, I will catch you around. Thanks for watching. Why do most DIYers build battery packs like this? Or not like this.